Hey, LCO, this is Matt from New England. Matt from New England. Uh, and that's almost British, straight up. Nobody ever talks about that shit. So, onward. I work at a drunk tank, all right? And I work the third. Drunk tank? Like, what do you mean? Like Dave and Buster's? I don't even know uh, what that is. Let's hear more. Third shift, you know, the graveyard shift. So I see the, the craziest of the crazies. Uh, so basically last weekend I go in. Hold on, let me look this up. Drunk tank. Is it a prison? Oh, yep, a large prison cell for the detention of drunks. Bang, bang. Well, you know who you ain't, you know who you ain't taking care of is uh, my boy Jack, who's got 75 days sober. But let's hear more, Matt. To my chef to relieve my coworker, and my coworker's telling me that she had a gentleman there earlier who was obviously intoxicated, saying that he was in the mafia. He's been traveling around the country, state to state. He's been killing people. Mm. So she said she had a man there that was a, a self-proclaimed serial killer. But do the you know what? I already, I'm like, do the do the good killers say they're killers? Yeah. It seemed like if you're real good at something, you're more low key about it, especially if it is you know ending other people's existences. But that's just me. Let's hear more. No, and he's been getting away with it, and he's telling this to my coworker. And he's he is well over the limit he's about two three times over the limit at this point um and she's like an older woman you know she she's defenseless basically and she's he's like i will come back here and find you if you tell anybody she goes damn this shit's making me mildly erect dude i'm not even joking i'm starting to feel a little bit of thump down in my dump let's hear more she goes oh no big deal i'm not a cop you know I'm I'm not going to tell anyone. Well, I come into work, and of course she tells me this. And I'm like, oh, you've been talking to a serial killer for a couple hours. That's great. You know, and that's the thing. Every time a woman feels like they're about to get serial killed, who do they come to? Men. Okay? You know, everybody wants equal opportunity, but nobody wants to deal with serial killers themselves. We we're, Look, if you want to help us, then help us at all times. Don't just come around, ladies, when you want defense from um possible future murder of yourself by someone else, by a serial killer. Help us at all times or be friends always. Let's hear more. That's just part of the job. A couple hours later, because this guy was released to a sober party, he comes back. So you released a, uh, an assumed serial killer? This is, this is all over the place. More? The police bring him back for going to another bar and getting rowdy again. So I have to talk to the serial killer, allegedly, he seems like a normal dude, you know, so he's, he's brought in into a that's their trick. He ain't going to he ain't going to talk to you and be juggling knives, you know, and hiding cyanide, you know, and, you know, have a cyanide recipe on his jacket. That's their trick, Matthew, is that they don't you're not supposed to know they're serial killers. That's what I'm thinking, man. If I'm drunk in a place and there's a there's a lady there and she's the guard or whatever. Fuck, yeah, I'm gonna tell her I'm a serial killer. What else are you going to do? You're bored. Probably you're used to being at the bar having fun. More? Into a, a, from a police vehicle, and then there's another cop car behind him as backup. So I, uh, this guy, he's been drinking more. He's actually like so over the limit, I have to send him to the hospital. So I send him to the hospital, and I ask one of the officers to stay back so I can talk to him. And I tell him what my coworker told me. He's been going around the country. He's been killing people. And I told him that, you know, he would come back and harm us if he found out. Uh, so the cops said, oh, just look into his criminal history and, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes from there. So once I go back inside, I realize how much of a fucking idiot I am. Now I'm, I'm so paranoid. I, I'm having trouble sleeping. I'm looking at the security camera. I'm at work right now. I'm looking at the cameras. I'm seeing this car going up and down the street, this red Jeep. I've been seeing it all night, Theo, and I don't know what the fuck to do. Look, I'll tell you what to do, man. Get your life up. Okay, you out here. You know, I love you, brother. But listen, you first of all, you said a senior citizen lady. Okay, and I respect senior citizens. But a lot of them, you know, they're just starting to bother everybody. And a senior citizen lady told you that there's a killer. She met a killer. You know, and all first of all, all women say that. I'm dating this guy. He seems like he could be a serial killer. That's half the dudes out there. We had a guy called up last week, 
fucking might have killed a lady and try to use our episode as an alibi. Said he took a lady out. She got wasted. He hasn't seen her in two days or heard from her. He has her phone and some other shit. Uh, dude, I'm dumb and I know that that is prob uh, probably murder. So look, man, you telling me and then you scared. You got the lady drunk. The man's drinking more. You let the dude go out to drink more. And now you're trying to square off with him and talk to him? Bro, that dude might be a murderer. Let him sober up and see what he can do. Y'all trying to take, you guys are hanging back and tailing a drunk guy. How hard is it? The dude's three times over the legal limit? He's in a red Jeep? Doing, going where? Just going back and forth in reverse in a parking spot? That dude's fucked up. Do we have any knives on him? Frisk that motherfucker. Frisk him, dude. Check him. Check his ass for blades, dude. What's going on? You know, if you are, uh, I couldn't tell if you were an officer or not, Matt, but look, y'all shooting people out there, shoot this dude. Shoot him. He doesn't seem like he'll even care. But good luck out there, dude. If you don't get murdered, call us back in two months and just, just leave one voicemail that says, hey, it's Matt, I didn't get murdered. But be good to yourself, man. I'm sorry to get savage with you there, but I haven't eaten. Dude, I only had one freaking little thing out of a damn machine.